I'm Jessamine Boyd, and this is Willoughby, and I'm a Montgomery Humane Society board member. I created a Facebook page, Puppies for Parks, Montgomery, Alabama, and in just the past three days, we had over a thousand likes. I'd like to share with you a few things that Montgomerians have to say about having a public dog park. Our Abby dog is really, really stoked about this possibly happening. Can't you tell? Dallas Dog votes yes for dog parks in Montgomery. Oscar, dreaming of all the friends he's going to make in the bark park. Perry says she's ready to play off her leash and make new dog friends. Snacks is bored with playing on the swings. He wants a dog park where he can run free. Please build us a park to play in. Thank you. We can't wait. We had a dog park in Memphis and it was wonderful. It's safe to say that Montgomery is hungry for a public dog park. I'm Todd Strange, Mayor of Montgomery, Alabama. And this is my friend Harvey. According to the recently released census, there are 61,000 households and 22,000 dogs within five miles of where we're sitting right now. It's currently illegal for dogs to run free anywhere within the city limits of Montgomery. But no worries, our proposal includes two separate areas right here on this site. The Montgomery Humane Society and the city of Montgomery are coming together in a partnership to seek a grant for $100,000 so that we can make this a reality. There's all kinds of benefits for having designated dog parks. They encourage socialization and exercise for dogs and their owners. And they can be a great venue for Humane Society events, education opportunities, and fundraisers. We are fully committed to provide the labor, to build this park, and also to provide the ongoing maintenance right here on this site. The Montgomery Humane Society is fully committed to providing the staff to operate Montgomery's first public dog park. It's a great partnership for Harvey and his friends as well as the citizens of Montgomery. Tiger says it makes economic sense for this community.